Welcome to the 700 Club. President Biden says an Israeli hostage deal could be just days away. U.S. negotiators believe the sides are close to an agreement, although Hamas is now saying the estimate is premature. At the same time, Israel is targeting Hezbollah deep inside Lebanon. This comes in response to their ongoing rocket attacks, uh, rocket attacks against northern Israel. CBN Middle East correspondent Julie Stahl reports. President Biden says he hopes there will be a hostage deal by March 4th. An outline reportedly calls for the release of dozens of hostages held in Gaza in exchange for a six-week pause in the fighting and the return of hundreds of Palestinian prisoners. My, my national security advisor tells me that we're close. We're close. It's not done yet. And my hope is by next Monday we'll have a ceasefire. Biden also says Israel is willing to suspend fighting during the Islamic holy month of Ramadan, which begins March 10th, if an agreement is reached. Hamas called the president's comments premature and cited significant gaps before a ceasefire can be reached. Qatar would not comment on Biden's remarks, but a foreign ministry spokesman says they are upbeat and optimistic on the talks. Meanwhile, the war in the north is picking up. Hezbollah fired dozens of rockets into northern Israel on Tuesday morning, this after Israel struck unusually deep into Lebanon, around 60 miles in, on Monday, prompting Hezbollah to launch dozens of rockets at the Golan Heights and other targets. Defense Minister Yoav Gallant said Israel will increase its firepower against Hezbollah as the Iranian-backed group is struggling to find field commanders to replace those eliminated by Israel. We'll continue the fire and we'll do so independently from the south until we achieve our goals. The goal is simple, to withdraw Hezbollah to where it should be, either via an agreement or we will do it by force. On Instagram, police spokesman Dean Elsden showed a home hit by a Hezbollah rocket in northern Israel. As you can see, now this family has got nothing to come back to. Why? Because Hezbollah just like Hamas is choosing to target our civilians. In Gaza, the IDF says it found a six-mile-long tunnel connecting northern and southern Gaza, running beneath a hospital and a university. Throughout the entire war, we've witnessed Hamas using civilian infrastructure, like hospitals, kindergartens, schools and more, to dig tunnels and dispose of weapons, which we also found inside the Turkish hospital. Meanwhile, residents in more than 240 local authorities around Israel, including Jerusalem, are heading to the polls today to choose municipal leaders and councils. The elections originally scheduled for October 31st were postponed twice due to the war. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem. Well, don't expect a peace deal anytime soon. I, I don't have hopes for it. Am I praying for the peace of, in this conflict? Absolutely. But what we're dealing with is an entrenched ideology. Hamas literally can't come to peace with Israel because in their charter, they're wiping, they're calling for the elimination of Israel. So how do you, how do you bargain with that? And from the Hamas standpoint, how can you ever enter into a peace deal with your avowed enemy? Let's take them at their word. They say they're going to repeat October 7 again and again and again until Israel doesn't exist. Well, if you're on the Israeli side of that equation, you have to say, well, we can't allow Hamas to exist.